all the more reason to fight him, to see where I need to improve. Oh man, this is gonna be great. I swear you have brain damage. Uh, all the more reason to fight him, to see where I need to improve. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Goku. Damn it, I'm not even laying a finger on this guy. Yeah, I told you, dummy! Now stop while you still can! Ugh. Darn it, I'm not even laying a finger on this guy. Yeah, I told you, Goku! Now stop while you still can! Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now today we are talking about some very interesting, and I mean very interesting Dragon Ball Super dub stuff that I haven't heard of, you know, before until today. And first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Harry Price. His YouTube link and his, you know, Twitter link and also his Discord link will be in the description below. So go and check that out. Check all of his links out. You know, I want to give huge props to this legend for actually, you know, telling me this and, um, you know, giving some clarification and uploading the clips to YouTube. So what am I talking about? Why is Harry Price such a legend? Well, for multiple reasons, but anyway, this specific reason is that there is another dub. There is another Dragon Ball Super English Funimation dub that airs in other countries on their Toonami block. That is interesting. So we have the Dragon Ball Super English dub that airs on, you know, the US Toonami block by Funimation, and then the other English dub is the Bang Zoom dub, which has, to my knowledge at least, has since been discontinued. But anyway, that was another dub, you know, airing on Toonami Asia, and that was, you know, episode 1 to episode 27, I believe, and then they uh, stopped. Again, I could be wrong, but I believe that's the case. Anyway, that is not what we're talking about. That is sort of common knowledge at this point. If you, you know, go research the Dragon Ball Super dubs, you know, the Bang Zoom dub, it's there, it exists. But, you know, amongst those, you know, those two, the Bang Zoom dub and the Funimation US dub, there is a dub, there is another dub by Funimation that is used to air in countries, you know, on channels that weren't allowed to use certain words used in the US Toonami dub. So, to our knowledge, this is a more tame dub made by Funimation. So yeah, that's really interesting. Now, the place that this is airing, this sort of, um, you know, cut, uh, censored English dub, is Africa. You know, Africa is airing this dub. Now, it isn't specifically made for Africa, but we're calling it the Africa Toonami Funimation dub because it's the only place that has aired so far, you know, to our knowledge at least. And when I say our knowledge, I mean Harry Price, and he basically relays the information onto me. So I do urge you to check Harry Price out. The link is down below. Just go check him out, man. Like, he... Uh, upload some interesting insight regarding the Dragon Ball Super dub, and he uploads clips and stuff, and he's just a very good source when it comes to Dragon Ball Super dub news and footage and stuff. It's really cool stuff. But anyway, yeah, go check him out. Good friend of mine, um, good mate. But anyway, the Dragon Ball Super English dub. Now, this was new news, you know, this was interesting news. So there's a more tame, you know, censored dub of the Dragon Ball Super uh, Funimation dub. So, what does it exactly change? Not much, actually. Only a few words. One of the key instances of, you know, one of these, you know, script changes are very, you know, they're very minor script changes, but one of the examples uh, is in episode 6, where Vegeta is freaking out over Beerus, you know, trying to, um, you know, go to the birthday party, he's freaking out because he doesn't want him to destroy the Earth. But anyway, um, as Master Roshi, you know, tries to perv on uh, Bulma, and then Bulma goes into the slap, there is Bulma saying, creep, and she just screams, creep, before she hits uh, Master Roshi, and then it cuts, you know, quickly to Vegeta um, punching the wall, you know, in fear of Beerus. But in this censored English dub that, you know, appears and airs in Africa, she just goes, hey, like she screams, hey, which I find interesting. It's very minor, and it's like, creep isn't like 
a bad word. It's not like, it's not even a curse word, it's just creep. You know, which I find interesting. Anyway, yeah, it's just interesting to know that there's a censored English dub of Dragon Ball Super. Now, I don't want this video to ramble on for too long, but I just wanted to give this news as it was insight to me, and I do urge you to check out Harry Price, and I've said that multiple times, but I just want it to get instilled in your guys' mind. Just check out that man. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so to recap, the Dragon Ball Super English dub, there are two English dubs by Funimation, uh, one is airing in the US, and the other is airing in Africa and other parts of the world, and the Africa version on Toonami is a different dub, which censors, you know, some of the uh, lines out, you know, including, you know, creep, um, you know, from creep to, um, you know, hay. And stuff like that, you know, it's just very minor stuff. Um, it's not even a huge deal, to be honest. And if you want to go check out these clips for yourself, there's actually an official Toonami Africa, you know, website where you can watch some of the clips. And they, you know, do show clips where it is censored. And then you can compare and contrast to the original English dub that airs on Toonami in the US. So, yeah, very interesting stuff. And uh, it's just weird, you know, it's just very interesting, like... They're not allowed to air certain words, and, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's interesting stuff. And obviously, like, I think if it ever, like, was broadcasted on Nicktoons or whatever, you know, Dragon Ball Super, um, it would sort of have the same dub. I mean, I don't think it's airing specifically in other countries, like, you know, I don't think they made it per se because, you know, they wanted to air it in other countries, but it's just, like, just there as a sort of backup, you know, as a reserve. I know there's the Dragon Ball Kai, um, censored dub, which, you know, censors a lot of that stuff out, um, you know, the curse words and stuff, and the uncut dub is, like, for home releases and whatnot, and Adult Swim. So, it's been done before with the Dragon Ball Z Kai dub for Nicktoons, but, yeah, it's just interesting to hear Super uh, does that for other countries, as well as, you know, if it got picked up by Nicktoons, it'll probably use the censored dub as well. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think of a censored Dragon Ball Super dub? Um, you know, it's obviously not the first time uh, the, you know, Funimation company has screwed around with the Dragon Ball dub and, you know, censored things, changed things. I mean, of course they've changed things, you know, <clears throat> hope of the universe. Anyway, um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. So make sure to please, you know, rate, comment and subscribe. Go check out Harry. The link is in the description. And if you want to check out the Toonami Africa dub is, you know, basically what we're sort of calling it, you know, just to give it a catchy name. Um, if you want to check out the Toonami, Toonami Funimation Africa dub, the censored dub of Dragon Ball Super, you know, clips of it at least, you know, not full episodes. Um, they obviously have to save that for the, uh, you know, TV broadcast. But if you want to go check out some of the clips and compare and contrast, there's a link to that as well. So I just wanted to deliver this news. It, you know, I thought it was interesting stuff. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. So I'll see you guys next time. And as always, and as always, take care. See you later.